is a double so, yam, good afternoon single to everybody yam. and uh, thanks to the uh, committee to giving me this opportunity I have to so i am going to talk about a practice <coughs> grow constantly in a single location <coughs> could you speak into the mic or lift the mic a little your voice is a little low listen i need to go to presentation ka अरे भैया ये क्या ये क्या है सो टू सो टू बिगिन विद आई बिगिन विद द एबीसी ऑफ द प्राइवेट प्रैक्टिस इन विच ए इज योर अवेलेबिलिटी सो if you are available in your private practice then only you have a chance to show your competence so only because you are available you will have a chance to uplift your practice in a particular area so now imagine these patients turning up to your opd and how thankful they would be to you for their entire life that you were present for them in their time of uh, <coughs> at their time of uh, crisis so when you practice in a particular area and you give your uh, time and energy you are basically nurturing your roots <coughs> for the years to come and eventually you note that your name and goodwill start spreading in that area and you give to touch more and more lives and eventually you note uh, you note that uh, not only few patients but more and more families gets joined with you and there's a good word of mouth spreading in that area <coughs> which will definitely need to increase in the number of referrals to your hospital and eventually the word of mouth increases and the cost of marketing decreases and definitely the, when these cost uh, decreases everybody has limited financial uh, <coughs> budgets for their practice so you can spend that extra amount on your infrastructure and provide better i care services at a affordable cost so now the next most important thing for a private practitioner is focus not even as a private practitioner but also as a surgeon so when your focus is clear you can channelize your your energy <coughs> in a single direction and the road to success becomes clear and if the focus is disturbed it leads to aberrations and who can un uh, better understand aberrations as, uh, better than an ophthalmologist mm -hmm. so we have yeah, the same 24 hours yeah. and okay. you are a doctor by profession and not a driver okay. so okay. <coughs> the choice is yours whether you want to stuck into the traffic jams or you want to spend that extra time in getting more patients and creating more happy patients and mind you we have to struggle our ways uh, through these the traffic final jams final. and these jams are not so sweet even for the most calm and composed ones how you come <coughs> no problem come, come, come. so nowadays we are basically okay, okay. planning to move uh, towards uh, the available uh, <coughs> the follow up uh, the appointment schedule but still the majority of the patients which we see in our private practice doesn't follow the appointment culture they may come any time they want and you may tend to lose those patients and the entire purpose of running uh, around gets lost so <coughs> if your focus is clear and you are available at your center you achieve reliability factor in that particular area where you are pra practicing so whenever you begin with your private practice you begin with a set of core values and as we know that ophthalmology is one of the most costliest branch and it uh, <coughs> demands a lot of investment so in this quest for quantity we tend to burden ourselves with huge expenses and ultimately we plan to find ways to cut the cost which sometimes may lead to decline in the quality and which no ophthalmologist wants and we allow ourselves to enter into the rat race on quality versus quantity so i at the end i want to say that if you are available you are patient your focus is clear and your patient start considering you as reliable you can strike out a balance between quantity and quality and it takes months to attract a footfall and seconds to lose it so there is enough in this world for everyone's need but not for everyone's greed thank you